would you be still? You're supposed to be dead. I can't believe I'm alive. Well, that makes two of us, my friend. Ramsey wasn't supposed to shoot me, you know. Well, he's not supposed to be doing a lot of things. How could he possibly miss me? Was it such close range? Well, I wouldn't question Providence if I were you, all right? Does Anna know I'm alive? I don't know. It's just happened too fast. I want to see her. Well, not now, you're not. Who's giving you your orders? Scorpio, he wants to keep you alive. How do you think he believes in my innocence now? Well, he wants to keep you under wraps. He can go to trial. He might look at it that way. What are these things for? It's a WSB trick. It's designed to cover your pulse area so that we can't see that you have a pulse. And then people will think I'm really dead? Now, if you play your cards right. I really appreciate all of this, Tony. I do, honestly. I know how upset you were when Frisco and Felicia were arrested. That's not what you Irrespective of that, I really appreciate this. Well, thank it's you. not over yet. Now, listen, when you get to the hospital, you have to lie motionless. It has to appear that you're dead. Okay. Right now, I'd suggest you start practicing your breathing. Short and shallow breaths, all right? Now, who am I performing for? Ramsey, because if he gets too close, he's going to discover the truth. Yeah, then I won't have to pretend. Well, I, he'll finish the job himself. I did everything possible. Duke's dead. Yeah, it's not your so. fault. I was only doing my job. I didn't mean to kill you him. You weren't supposed to shoot him. Why did you shoot Anna, him? Anna, stop. Can somebody get her a glass Anna, of water, please? I didn't mean this. Yank, I... take him to the morgue, Sight. please. No, no, don't, Absolutely. don't. Don't, Anna. please. Listen. You get a hold of yourself. I'd have to lock a professional. Let the hospital go about their business. I'll get him some water. Thank you. Sure, the job was going to be done right. Well, you should have thought of that. Why didn't you make some precautions? I did. That Duke is very much alive. What? Sean replaced the bullets in Ramsey's gun with blanks. Is Tony and Yankin on this too? Right. And they're playing their roles very well. Did you know this was gonna happen? Um, let's just say he's demonstrating an ability to roll with the punches. Here we go. Here, Anna. Anna, could I get you something to help you calm down? No, no, thank you. I just want you to know I'm sorry. I tried, I did everything I could. I know you did. I'm uh, really sorry I spoke to you like that. That's all right, Anna, you were upset. There's no excuse, that. I was shocked. You were very close. It's always traumatic to see someone die, especially someone's life. Yeah. I'm going to take another look at the body. Uh, it, the body's at the morgue. Uh, autopsy. I'll get you a copy of the report. Well, I'm sure you will, Tony, but I'd just I'd like to take a last look at Lavery. Why, Bert? I just want to. Do you think I'm out of line, Robert? You're the police commissioner. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, well, then I'm going to walk over the morgue. Dr. Harper and I have been good friends for years. I don't think you don't mind showing me the body again. I'll see you later. This is not going to work. Hang in there, will you? He's going to know that Duke is alive. I can't believe you ate all of that. It's just nervous energy. I'm worried about Tony. He can take care of himself. I know that. But I never should have gotten him involved in this whole mess. It just wasn't fair. He knows he did the same thing for him. Bert Ramsey is the chief of police. If something goes wrong, Tony and Yang both jeopardize their medical licenses. Well, it didn't take long for Yang to decide when Robert asked him. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right. Tony's got a family to support. <laughs> Robert wouldn't have asked Tony or Yang if he didn't have all the bases covered. Yeah, I just hope you're right. Hey, kids. Oh, oh sure. Okay. Sit down. Oh, I wish I could pocket a rest a while, but I can't. I've got places to go. Yep. You know what I mean. It's all set up. Yep. Ready and waiting. Great. Oh, man. I just can't wait to see a dead man come back to life. Hey, wait, kids. I gotta go now. <laughs> so do we. Come on. Why has pizza gone up?
Dr. Harper here? Uh, no, Bert. He was called away in emergency. This uh -huh. is Dr. Rose. He's running things while Dr. Harper's away. Can I uh, help you with something? Uh, yes, Dr. Rose. I'm Bert Ramsey, chief of police here in Fort Charles. I'd like to take a look at this body that just came down. Uh, white male? Gunshot wound? Yes, Duke Lavery. Oh, yeah, well, I just completed the preliminary workup. Uh, whoever shot this guy sure knew how to use a gun. Yeah, I know. Uh, do you mind? But suit yourself. Duke. I'm sorry, Anna. Well, what did you expect? Thanks for your cooperation, Doctor. I'll make sure that you get a full copy of my report, Chief. Doctor, I will need your signature on a couple of forms. No problem. Thanks again. Now, look, I'd uh, better call headquarters and tell them what's going on. We've got a long night ahead of us. Uh, Bert, listen, I think we've been through enough for today. Can we carry this over till tomorrow? Uh, I'm afraid not, Robert. I have some questions I should ask Anna. What about? About what happened when you were with Duke. So I'll uh, see you back at the office. All part of the job. You think Bert bought it? The blind and sinker. Well, I'm just glad this is over. I'd like to leave this cloak and dagger stuff to my brother for a change. Dr. Rose here is a WSB plant. Oh, he's not a doctor. Afraid not. Valentine's given me WSB jurisdiction over Port Charles until this whole mess has been cleared up. Oh. Um, can I go in and see Duke now? There's no time for that. Randy's going to be back any minute, and we don't want to arouse any suspicions. So what's next? Frank, it's time for you to perform. Ramsey's going to have some tough questions to ask you about your participation in Lavery's escape. I'm afraid we can't do that just at the moment. Why is that? I've sent Robin away. How dare you do that without my permission, Robert? I had no other choice. I did it for her protection. I don't want Damon taking another shot at her. Well, where did you send her, then? We'll talk about that after Bert's questions. Well, Anna, yes. Chief Ramsey, I wanted to give you an update on Angel Moran. Oh, yeah, where is he? He's still in Duke's office. He's been there ever since he withdrew the money from Duke's bank account. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for Lavery's call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, uh, Sam, bring Angel in for questioning. Huh? Immediately. All right. Why are you lot making me feel like a suspect? Yeah, don't get excited. Don't tell me not to get excited. What's going on here? Do you really think that I have something Anna, to do with Anna, Anna, please. Why were you with Duke? A question we'd all like the answer to. I was trying to take him back to jail. Oh, come on. Don't give me that. But what were you doing at the Brownstone? Why did he have a gun? If Bert hadn't used his, I'd be dead now. I will explain if you'll stop hurling accusations at me. All right, go ahead. Explain, Anna. I was Duke's hostage. How did that happen? I went after him to try and bring him back to jail, but he managed to get my gun away from me. Well, wait a minute. Now, how did the brownstone figure into this? Well, I called Robert. I wanted him to make a trap, but I had to be very careful what I said in front of Duke. Hey, look. I... I... I can't believe any of this. This is the reason I sent Robin away to begin with. Look, save yourself a lot of time and just book her for aiding and abetting. You can't do that. You've got to believe what I'm saying. I'm telling the truth. Robert, give her a chance. The evidence, Bert. The what evidence, evidence is stacked against her. What evidence? You must believe me for my child and for this job. I'm telling the truth. Bert, Bert. Don't do this. Just let the, let the court deal with it. I'm sorry, Robert. I owe it to her. Thank you, Bert. I hope you're not making a big mistake here. How'd it go? It's 
okay, except for a change in plans. What happened? Ramsey decided to take matters into his own hands and he shot Duke. Oh my God. Is he all right? Scorpio asked Sean to put blanks in Ramsey's gun. So Ramsey thinks that he killed Duke? 100%. Oh, we gotta get him out of this hospital. Yank is standing by in the medical van right now to take him. Listen, I, I don't know what to say to you. I, I'm sorry I got you involved in this. I know what you went through. And I... Listen, you didn't make me do anything I didn't want to do. Yeah, but you put your whole career on the line, Tony, and, and I know you didn't want to go through this. And I'm baby... your brother, and I'll lay down my life for you, okay? Let's go pay our respects to Mr. Lavery. It's all right, Duke. Mission accomplished, huh? No, I'd say so. Now, I suppose this kind of recovery is rather uncommon in this room, huh? Yeah, let's just get this makeup off of you and the tape off. Hey, I want to thank you all uh, for what you've done for me. Well, it's thank not you. over yet. We got a stash in Yang's van. That's the only way out of this place. Okay. That's the best you can do. It's the truth. Repeat the story, Anna. Why? The story's not going to change, but... Well, then tell us what happened after you reached the cottage, hmm? Well, I approached the cottage by foot. Mm -hmm. Alone? Yes, alone. I felt responsible for what the man had done, and I thought that I could apprehend him easier on my own. Let it continue, eh? Yeah, sure. Well, anyway, he must have heard me because he was hiding. He overpowered me. And he took my gun. What happened to your car? I drove it into the lake. Then he used me as a cover for his getaway plan. Now, I knew that he would be going to Port Charles to pick up the money from Angel. So I insisted that we stop by at the Brownstone so that I could see my child. I knew that Robert would have set up a trap by then. Yeah. That's quite a chance you took, Anna. Well, now, uh, you and Duke had plenty of time to talk, didn't you? No. We didn't really talk much. I was his victim, his hostage. Well, did he say anything about his other business dealings here in Port Charles? No, we didn't have time to talk. I don't know about you, Robert, but I believe it. What about the van? When we have evidence that she was there. What evidence? This. Well, this is my bracelet. It was in the van that Lavery escaped from. Do you know how it got there? No, I don't know. You couldn't have gotten there unless you aided in Lavery's escape. Anna, do you remember being in that van? Well, yes, I did go in there earlier. The van that took Duke to the courthouse. Yeah, sure you did. Helping to set up the escape. No, I wanted to make sure it was secure. I, I must have dropped it when I was checking the van. Well, what about the van door between the cab and the pen where the prisoner sat? Somebody opened it with a key. Was it you? Why are you railroading me like this? Well, it couldn't have been Bert. I've got the damn key right here. You still believe her? I don't know, Robert. I don't know. What are you waiting for? Arrest her. That's enough out of you, Robin. I shouldn't have to remind you that you are no longer a member of this police force. Look, I'm fully aware of that, but I just can't believe that you're buying this load of... Come on, I'm telling the truth. And it makes sense to me. Thank you. The only evidence that we haven't figured out yet is that unlocked door of the van. What about it? And if you didn't open it, who did? I don't know. Someone else must have opened the door. You're with what key, then? I don't know. <laughs> Is this the best that we're going to listen to here? Maybe somebody duplicated the key. Well, that's certainly a possibility. I'll have it run through the lab. And it... Yeah, come in. Oh, hello, Angel. Sam. Do you want to talk to Mr. Moran now? Or should I keep him in one of the holding rooms? No, you can leave him here. I'd like to know why I'm being dragged down here. I haven't done anything. Ah, uh, easy doesn't, mate. Just have a seat. Look, Sam. I want you to take this to the lab and have them test it to see if a wax impression was made of it recently. Right away, Chief. Thank you. Angel, 
have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Yeah? What about? Well, for one, why were you sitting waiting in the club with a whole bunch of cash? Waiting for a midnight snack with the Flying Scott? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Angel, you don't have to protect Duke Clavery anymore. Now, we know that you two were good friends. What do you mean, were? Duke Clavery died tonight. No. No, I don't believe you. He was killed trying to escape from the police. I don't believe it. It's the truth, Angel. We were there. Anna? Anna? You let this happen? There's nothing I could do. Oh, Anna. You, you know Duke was my best friend. You know that. And you people let him die! Now, Angel, do you want to tell us? Did Duke call you and ask you to get all that money in the bank and wait at the club for him? Yes, sir. He needed the cash for a getaway. Was Anna Devane a part of that plan? No, sir. When you were shot, she treated Duke like a criminal. It almost killed him to lose her. He loved you, Anna. Right to the end, he loved you. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is the place. Welcome to your new pad, Duke. Okay, watch yourself. I didn't even know these catacombs existed. Well, it's a special part of our heritage, Jack. As familiar as the path to your favorite disco. Who says you can't be home, huh? What are you talking about? We all worked last year on a case that brought us down to these catacombs. That's right. Frisco and Robert saved my people. That's why I owe them a lot. And that's why I agreed to help them keep you on ice for a while. Yeah, well, it certainly is uh, chilly enough down here. Yeah, well, you better get used to that, pal. I was in here for weeks last year. She helped keep me alive. So she can do the same for you, huh? So that's what all this is about, is it? It's important that you stay alive, Duke, to get us all out of this mess. I'll do whatever I can to help. And you'll be safe here. Yeah, we stocked a place with a few supplies, and we'll bring back another lamp and some food and blankets, OK? Thank you. I, I appreciate what you've all done for me. Just hang in there, dude. You haven't seen anything yet. We'll see. Thank you. Well, is there anything we can get you before we go? Yeah, I'm really worried about Angel. I don't suppose it would be possible to tell him that I'm not really dead, would it? No. Robert's got everything worked out. We'll tell him as soon as possible. Hey. I'm, uh, I'm proud I've got Robert Scorpio on my side. Well, Robert's a great guy. He thinks of everything. Yeah, he does. I can understand why Anna would fall in love with a man like that. Oh, Dick, that was a long time ago. Yeah, all the same, he's certainly more deserving of her love than I ever was. Nothing between Anna and Robert anymore. Yeah, there's nothing between Anne and I anymore, either. But don't be so quick to put an end to it. Nah, why? Well, I can't fool myself any longer. It's over. She sees me as a criminal. Her only desire is to have me punished. I can't forget what I've done to her. Well, you can go, Angel. But don't leave town, at least for the time being. Mind how you go, Angel. Uh, one other thing, Angel. Get that getaway money back into the bank. It's now a part of Duke Lavery's estate. Angel, I want you to know that you isn't dead. He's still alive in our hearts. Come on, I'll walk you to the door. Well, Robert, 
Angel's story certainly fits in with what Anna already told us. So it seems. But we still have no explanation for the unlocked door. Well, the lab test will prove whether or not somebody duplicated that key. I suppose. I know how upset you were by the thought of Anna's betrayal. Did you ever stop to think that your feelings might have been colored because she was in love with Duke Laver? Are you suggesting that I'm jealous? I just think that you should think of it as a possibility. Yes. Oh, Sam? This is the lab report. He gave me on that key, so. Oh, good, thanks. Oh, by the way, Sam, you don't have to trail Angel anymore. We got all the information out of him that we need. I'll notify the desk sergeant. Thank Watch you. Watch it say, Bert. They found traces of molding wax on the key. Someone made a copy, so Anna did not open that door. I'm sorry to have doubted you, Anna. It's all right. I thought I was going to be thrown into jail. Sorry to put you through all of this. You were just doing your job, Bert. Look, you've had a rough time. Why don't you take a couple of days off? Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. I could use it. You know, Duke Lavery may have been a criminal, but... There must have been some good in him for you to be in love with him. Ouch. Hey, watch it. It's all right. Okay, take it off. Okay. What's all this? Just a few supplies. To keep you warm. Are oh, you going to turn this place into a swinging bachelor pad? I, it's going to be more comfortable than the prison cell I'm going to have to face sooner or later. Well, I want you to be comfortable. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you very much. Well, it's not often that a jive grandma like me gets to help a dude come back from the dead. Well, it looks like you're just about all set, huh? Anything else we can get for you before we leave? No, well... Uh, I'm fine for tonight, thank you. I'll be around in the area, dude. You need help? Just yell. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Felicia, can I have a word with you before you go? Um. I'll just wait on you. What is it? I want to get a message to Anna. Would you be willing to take a message to her for me? Oh, of course. I really am. I'm so sorry for all the hell that I've put Anna and Robin through. When I was lying in the morgue, I realized what a mess I'd made of my life. And I really wish there was some way that I could make all of that up to her. Would you just tell her, please, that I love her very, very much? I'll give her the message. Uh, would you have to get going? Okay. No, wait, wait. About, about what I said? Oh, I'm not going to forget, I promise. I want you to forget. I don't want you to... Don't tell her what I said. I want. It's better that Anne and Robert forget all about me. Oh, no, you don't mean it. Yes, I, I mean it. I've been nothing but trouble to her since the day that we met. Please forget everything I told you. I want them to forget about me before anything else happens. It's better this way. It should be over. Oh, Duke. He won't tell her. Press know about Duke's death. I'll be back in a few minutes. Chief DeBain? Yes. Uh, it's Mr. Lavery's personal effects. They were sent over from the lab. Oh. I thought you might like to have them. Yes, thank you. Um, 
I'll see to it that Angel Moran gets these. They were very close for many years. Mm -hmm. Chief Devane, I want you to know how sorry I was to hear about Mr. Lavery. I never knew him very well, but I know how much you cared about him. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Please let me know if there's anything at all I can do. Yes. Thank you. I hate having to lie like this to people. Look, we can't blow the whole thing now by letting too many people know the truth. Yeah. Thanks for helping me. Oh. Hey, look. There's quite a team we've assembled here. Owen, Frisco, Felicia, Tony, Yank, and Dr. Rose. And Sean. Don't forget about Sean. Hey. You know, if he hadn't replaced those bullets in Ramsey's gun, you and I would be whistling a different tune right now. Yeah. And he's been so good with Robin. It's great. He took her down to the hacienda. Yeah. She's going to love it down there. I mean, hey, my kid gets around more than I do. <laughs> At least in Mexico, she won't have to deal with the news of Duke's death. What about Philomena? Uh, well, she's visiting relatives in Little Italy. I don't want to lie to her either. She'll be devastated when she hears he's dead. It's important that Angel and Philomena both be kept in the dark. We need them to react naturally to the news. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, you looked as if your world had fallen apart and you thought the Duke was dead. When can I see him again, Robert? It's important that we wait. We're playing a dangerous game right now. One mistake. I know. I know. Don't tell me.